Good morning. This morning I want to take you on a bit of a guided tour because I know when people first start out sometimes they're so overwhelmed by seeing how successful some people are that they're not quite sure where to start with speaking. They think that if they're not getting it perfect the first time that they'll never get it perfect. So today what we're going to do is pull back the curtain on a couple of business models that you might be able to model in your own business to use speaking to leverage the results that you're getting. And I think that's an important point to make. Speaking really does need to be leveraged in order to get the best results from it. There's absolutely no point standing up on stage, I believe, for 90 minutes unless you're A, delivering great value and B, inspiring the people in your audience to take action of some description. Now, whether that action is to buy a product from you, buy a service from you or to go out and change their lives in some way, you need to start focusing on what action is it that you want people to take. Of course, if you're running a business and speaking is uh, a part of that business, then probably the, one, of the, one of the actions you're going to want them to take is to buy a product or service from you. So there's a few things we need to think about as we start to uh, investigate this. Before you start speaking, I suggest that you ask yourself the question, how can you leverage each opportunity to speak? So every time you're standing up in front of an audience, how can you leverage that opportunity in the best way possible? In order to do this, you need to really give some thought to your big picture business model. And it needs to be a smart business model because otherwise speaking can, um, speaking basically um, magnifies whatever it is that you've got. So if you've got a business that's full of headaches and you start speaking, you'll just have a bigger business full of headaches. Um, if you've got a great business model and you use speaking to drive a, a, a fantastically clean and efficient system, then you'll find it's the most powerful way to succeed in the quickest time possible. I want to take you through a couple of examples, one big, one small, so that you can see um, some potential ways you might be able to use speaking to uh, to increase your bottom line in your business. The first example here is based on a good friend of mine who's doing very well in the Australian market at the moment. Um, he offers extraordinary value uh, for money, I believe. A lot of his clients and mentorees are making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in the, in the techniques that he's teaching them. And this is how he leverages speaking. Basically, he gets his leads or prospects through a few different ways. Um, he does uh, online advertising as well as affiliate marketing and so on and you can go to his website and you can uh, you can subscribe to a free e-class that's effectively to capture details that's what he's doing there then one of two things will happen either you'll get invited to an evening seminar that he's putting on or you might be invited to um, a presentation that he's doing it with one of his promoters uh, he has a relationship with a number of promoters around Australia as well at either of these seminars, you're looking at probably at this. Uh, the evening seminar is about a three-hour presentation. The promoter presentation is usually around 90 minutes. But at both of these, what he is doing is selling a $5,000 boot camp. Then, for the people who buy the boot camp, they'll go to the boot camp, and at the boot camp, he sells a high-end $30,000 per year mentoring program. Now, this some of you will look at that and go, oh, how could mentoring be worth $30,000 per year? Well, I tell you, the clients that are in his mentoring program are doing hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in profit based on the strategies he's teaching them and then what they're learning from each other as a network. Uh, I think most of us on the call, most of us listening to this would uh, would make a $30,000 investment to turn hundreds of, hundreds of thousands every day of the week. But I know that something this big sometimes blows people's boundaries a little bit. So let's have a look at something smaller. Um, oh, before we do, imagine uh, based on those numbers that were based on this model we were looking at just here. Imagine if you had 50 mentorees at thirty thousand dollars each. That's at one and a half million dollars per year that you'd be bringing in, and that's not even taking into account product sales, boot camp sales, and so on. So this is a really good business model um, in, to to really leverage speaking in the best way possible. A smaller example, and in fact, this is based on the the very first presentation I did before I became a you know a professional speaker I suppose um, I had a number of clients or prospects who had rung up about my life coaching services but had always been too scared to come in and meet me one on one so what I did was I started doing some advertising to them and invited them to an evening seminar that was three hours long it was a free evening seminar and at that evening seminar I I got probably eight or ten people along to the first one 
I did a little presentation on the seven secrets of success, something along those lines, and then I sold a $497 course, which was an eight-week course. I think I might have sold one or two people into that on that very first evening presentation. But I did a couple of those evening presentations, and before long I'd filled a course of eight people um, uh, over eight weeks. So eight fives, eight fives are what, 40? So that was $4,000 that I'd brought in doing a couple of free evening seminars. That only cost me, you know, um, drinks and nibblies, the, the room was free, so I was ahead. Then at the, uh, at the courses, I then went uh, upsold them into a $3,000 training so I, where I would teach them all of the tools that they'd been learning in their eight-week course. And that was a $3,000 training that I was selling there. Again, um, uh, we, I had a couple of courses running. I was able to fill eight spots in this training. Eight times approximately $3,000 was $24,000 I bought in over the course of a couple of weeks. So this is just an example of how you might be able to use um, sales from stage to start filling up training courses or selling products. It is important that you realize that you can start small, and small turns into big very quickly if you've got the right model. Just a little tip here, I think the smartest way to leverage your speaking is to sell products from your speaking, not more of your time. If you can sell, if you can fill a room, sell a product that they take home and it's a home study course or something like that, I think that's the best possible business model because time is one of these things that we all have limited amounts of. We've all only got 24 hours in the day. So where you can, try not to sell more of your time but instead sell a, a product or something that people can take home. Well, I hope that uh, gives you a bit of a, a, a bit of inspiration and possible things that you could do. Uh, of course, we go into all of this in a lot more detail in our mentoring program about how to start your pricing points, uh, how to create product and so on. And uh, you can go and check out that mentoring program. I'm just going to show you where that is. If you go to www.secretsofsellingfromstage.com slash signup.html, there you can see the easy to use hold your hand at every step mentoring program. It's only $49 a month. That it's for a limited time only. That's our charter membership price. The first 100 people will have that. And here's everything that you could get in that mentoring program. Please do go have a look. And I really 